Hey, welcome back to Given Chances Farm. I'm just walking out to the garden. I noticed the past couple days we've had a little bit of rain and some of that has caused some of the tomato plants, the stems to seep over. So I got my clips again and I'm out here clipping them. We've already done our morning chores. And I had to give the cows some hay. With us not having much rain, we were in a little drought so the grass wasn't growing. So we were doing that. Yeah, see the volunteer tomato plant, how crazy it's going. I'll come over here on this side. And all of those down there <coughs> that are growing crazy with this heat. The pepper plants are doing great. As you can see, they're getting taller by the day. So um, in the future, you'll be able to, we'll post a, a video on how to can the tomatoes and stuff. So right now, all I'm gonna do is start clipping, clipping the tomatoes up. So I'm gonna put you down. down. Turn it around real quick. Oh yeah. This shirt right here, my mom bought it for me. And it's a local company in my area. And um, if I remember, I will try and link their website at the, on this video. This lady also, not only does she sell these shirts, I I'm pretty sure this is where my mom got it from. She also does goat milk soap and other things with goat milk for um, body products. It's already hot out here. It's like a little bit after nine o'clock in the morning. So I am already sweaty and soaking through my clothes. But anyway, she does, um, like I was saying, body um, items that she makes out of goat milk soap. So my mom will buy um, bath bombs from that lady for the girls and um, for me also. So that is something we plan on doing and looking into for the future. I don't know if we'll do it to be able to sell those kind of products or if we would just do them to make them for ourselves and friends and family. So we gotta do some more research on how to end up doing that but right now I'm just gonna go back to uh, clipping tomato plants anybody want to uh Leave a comment down below of how your weather is in your area so we can all compare. I know this week the news was stating that it was supposed to be back in the 90s again. So with that, there was also like chances of rain most of the time so we weren't able to get our hay field bailed. So it's to the point now that we're going to have to just cut it and take the chance because it's starting, the clover is starting to die in it so it's not going to be very nutritional. I mean, the, just the cows will still get a benefit off of it, but the nutritional side of it starts to deteriorate when some of the items in the hay tend to start decreasing as far as like dying or dying off, like the purple clover bugs from when I'm putting the 
tomato plants up for me, but. So it'll be like probably most years we're only going to get two cuttings. It's been very rare that we've gotten three cuttings out of it in a year. So, we didn't post a video yesterday, and I apologize for that, but it was raining most of the day, and there really wasn't much that I can do any content on, on the inside. Still waiting on this garden to continue to give me more tomatoes, and here soon it looks like possibility. I just pulled that one off. <laughs> And then we'll go inside to continue ripening, but, um, yeah, like I was saying, hopefully within the next few days or so, um, I'll be able to have plenty of tomatoes to do a canning video. I know I did a, I did can some tomatoes the other day with when my mom was over here, but there was a lot going on that day with um, our school, well, the high school and middle school in our area. They went to e-learning, so we had to have one kid home, and I had to kind of like play the role of teacher at that same time as trying to get stuff done around the house, which is not that big a deal, but it just kind of takes up a little bit of my time of what I could be getting done. Some more of those worms or caterpillars so I don't know if you can see with me so there's one it's kind of on the smaller side there's one there's a bigger one a smaller one all on this one plant so how I noticed that was they will the caterpillars. I called it a worm earlier, but it's a caterpillar. If I, looking at it right, I think it may be one of those, um, oh, I just had the, the name of it, but, um, they build like a, uh, a spider web. It looks like a big old spider web and it's all enclosed and all of them stay on the inside which I haven't seen any of that, so it may not be that one, but um, they kind of look similar to this one. But they go in, in that area where that web is, and they will devour, like, all the leaves of that, whether it's a plant or a tree or whatever, but they devour it. But let me see if I can find some of the evidence wherever it was just at. So... If you can see on, I can't tell, there's a little dab of their poop. So if you've seen like little black pellet looking things, that is the poop of the caterpillar. So I will get those off and I will feed those to the chickens. The chickens like them. So here they are destructing my tomato plants while I'm going to take them and recycle them and feed them back to my chickens. The way of the circle of life. So I'll finish clipping the rest of these tomato plants up and 
then come back to this plant and take those worms off and feed them to the chickens and I'll bring you back. <laughs> All right. I got my little chicken feast. So, one, two, three, four, five of these worms are caterpillars. So, no more on this leaf. How quick they, they can go away, they also can tear your tomato plants up like crazy awesome. So, I hope you have, have a wonderful day. If it's hot in your area, try to uh, stay cool. If you're not a subscriber and you like this content, come and subscribe to our channel share with all your friends and family on all your social media and we'll see you tomorrow